And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. There is Deontay Johnson as this Steeler offense gets set for this next series. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards, but hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, it means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Looking to throw, pick it. It got his man complete. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. Now look, you're not going to be able to get this all back at once, but that certainly helps. So you're saying three yards in a cloud of dust, not the strategy? I go aerial attack. Yeah, I think that's what has to happen. And if you're going to run it, you need to break off big chunks. We just saw a big play right there. They need plenty of those. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. On the draw, it's Harris. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Second and a couple. Here's a carry for the fullback. This is Andy Janovich. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, not a lot of flash and dash on that play. Second and two, and they hand it to the big man, and he ends up picking up a first down. A little bit of gray area there, though, but I think what they thought, hey, we hand it to him here. If we come back and don't get it, we still got another down to try and pick it up. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Now, that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. Now, a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. It's DJ Turner who's got it. his own end zone under pressure and down he goes in the end zone and that's a safety at this point I think it's a surprise when he isn't close to being sacked on a passing down the amount of times he's hit the deck today I think a lot of us are reading safety before they even took the snap simply a merciless pass rush every step of the game and that rush earns a crowning achievement there and remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well, and they free kick it from the 20 now. We all know the teams never want to use the word panic, but if they expect to win this game, it has to start right here, right now. That return just set them up for points, and it needs to be a touchdown, not a field goal. So good field position for the Steelers as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. The fullback Janovich on the handoff. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. From the gun, here's Pickett. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. 
Another carry for the fullback, Janovich. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Pick it to throw on first down. He gets this one to Johnson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. Working out of the gun, it's Pickett. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets it down to the 32. Seven yards there and a first down. Pickett. Got an open man, it's Pickens. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Here's Pickett. He's got his tight end Fryermuth over the middle. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. On the draw, here's the fullback, Janovich. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And in for the Steelers, touchdown. LaVisca Chanel from four yards out. And the Steelers get a bit closer. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And that'll make this a 19-point game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was the touchdown catch from LaVisca Chenault that capped it all off. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Ready to go on offense, out come the Bengals. And this one not officially in the bag, but it's looking more and more like you and I are going to be in these same seats next week for a game to go to the Super Bowl. And it's contrary to our meeting with the, with the visitors, wasn't it? Remember when we went over to their hotel before the game, and one of the themes they kept hitting us with was, let's put the pressure on the number one seed and see if they can handle it. Let's, let's do that. Well, they're the number one seed for a reason. Best team all year long. They're showing it again in this game. Evans gets it again on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So he's playing. Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking at the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? Here we go. Now the Bengals on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This will be third and six. Play action. It's Burrow. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong. And now it's fourth down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. 
Averaging 50 yards a boot so far as this one's away. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round, hanging by a threat, if that, as they begin here with a first and 10 on the wrong side of the scoreboard. Pick it, back to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Another solid game-changing play for this defense with the interception. At this point, though, I don't know that it's game-changing. I mean, they've got this one in firm control. And you always hear about, you know, those stories about someone left their game plan behind and maybe you benefit from it. I'm not going to say that that happened, but they certainly have appeared on defense to be a step ahead this entire game. Guys are always in the right spot in order to make a play. The offense has had its moments, too. And now the drive Oh, well, now he's stripped. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. In today's NFL, most teams don't have as many goals for the game like we used to have where you checked off your boxes. But zero turnovers, that, that's a universal. And while it won't likely cost them in this game, they're going to regret the fact that they cough one up here. Yeah, their first blemish. They had mistake-free football prior. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 24. Following the fumble recovery, Pickett. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Looking to throw. Pickett completes it to Austin. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Third and four. Back to throw. Pick it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Dialing up another pass here, pick it. Over the middle, he's got Chanel. Second down and three. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. It's caught. It's Chanel again. He went over 100 yards in the wild card round. He's over 100 here as well. And a first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Now second and five. They'll look to throw again. A short one there to Fryermuth. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 20-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. First and 10, here's Pickett. And a quick throw here, that's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now a handoff to the fullback, Janovich. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Brandon, you know how we talk about having wrinkles in a game plan? That was a fold right there. How about that play? Being able to change things up. You think anyone else on the team's going to get the ball? And in that situation, they surprise everyone and give it to their big guy. He finds his man complete. That's Crawford. And he is going to lose yardage here.
It's second and goal back to the eight yard line now. Operating from the gun. Pick it. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Now this likely a must-have third and goal. This is caught. Touchdown. Deontay Johnson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Steelers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Extra point attempt here still to come. And they're able to cut the deficit to 12. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And in the end, it was Deontay Johnson's touchdown catch to cap the drive. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. There's a look at receiver Jamar Chase as the Bengals get set to go on offense. Oh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him, bring him over to our team so Switch we don't have to cover him anymore? Because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that mid-game trade's going to happen, but good thought. Alex Highsmith there on the tackle. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Stopped right at midfield. That'll put him over 150 yards receiving now. Quite a ball game and a first down. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. From a couple of yards beyond midfield, here's second and eight. They'll go again here with Evans. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. The offense on third down, they've hit on half of them, five for 10. This is third and four. Here's Burrow. Got a man open, it's Chase. And he's going to have a Bengals first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take a good, like, turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. So here's a first and ten at the 38. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. Throw out wide is incomplete. Second and ten. A give up the middle to Evans. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Now it's Burrow. That is caught. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 16. The 
Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. They're looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. First down. Evans has it left side. And he is going to lose yardage here. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. On second down, a run with Evans. And this time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Try to take this home, they'll run. And they'll hustle up to stop him well shy of the first, right around the 15. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. McPherson's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the four. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. So here's Pickett and the Steelers, down by 15, a minute 40 remaining. It's certainly a tough situation on the road, needing two scores to stay alive in the playoffs as they come up first and ten. Here's Pickett. Complete to Chanel. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now Pickett. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. They'll try again here, second and ten. Pick it to throw. And as he throws and the ball is out, it's a live football. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And that should just about do it. They return it to the end zone, sealing it with a defensive touchdown. I suppose it wasn't out of the realm of possibility that we could have seen a comeback, but that touchdown should put any hopes of a comeback out of reach. It's been a really quality effort for him here in this one. And no matter what else you think, you have to admire the initiative to finish things off their way. Don't leave anything to chance, no matter how small the odds of a comeback were. Send it home with a touchdown and get to celebrate it. And McPherson on for the extra point. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. No run back here for Hall, and this will come out to the 25. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Here is third down and four. Go, 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 go. 
Pick it a look to throw it here. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Daxton Hill picks it off. And the Bengals are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. Jamar Chase hoping to be at center stage yet again as the offense returns to the field. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. And the Bengals going to live to fight another week as we say thanks for watching and so long, everybody. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from Cincinnati.